Hey guys, Brenny here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a basic button melon farm using pistons and stuff like that. This is a really simple design, so I know a lot of you will know how to just make it by looking at this, so if you do know how to do that, feel free to leave a like and just close the video now, and thanks for the support. Uh, but if you don't know how it works, is basically you push the button, the pistons will push up the melons, and then you can run and collect them. Now, I would go and put a water system in this, but in the long run, it really does take longer. And this is just a simple design that I use in my Let's Plays or my Hardcore World. And I hope you guys learn something from this. So, we'll get to teaching you this, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, so to build this you need to place a 8x1 solid block, so you can't go and use glass or anything because we need to put redstone on top. So once you've done that, line the top with redstone and the sides with uh, redstone torches. So every side except the end put a redstone torch. Um, if you're making a bigger version, clearly you're going to need more torches, maybe you have to put in repeaters, but if you're making a bigger version you should know how to make it yourself. Anyway, now what you need to do on top of every single torch is put a sticky piston. Now, I know sticky pistons can be a bit annoying to get in like hardcore or just a normal survival map, but once you do find a slime spawning chunk, it really isn't that hard. I just, I, um, on my hardcore world would just jump over there every now and then and find slimes. Alright, so once you've done that, on either end you need to put a block like so that is equal with the redstone like that and then the side where you want the switch is where you'll be putting a redstone torch under the block so we'll put our uh, button on this side which will be on the wall then you need to line the top of the um, pistons and the middle part here just above the redstone with dirt so a 3 by 8 little block of dirt now we need to pick basically where we're going to be putting our water now the best place is here and here so this bit here and all the way over here on either side now you can put it other places obviously but this is how i would do it so doing that creating a little bucket will actually uh keep the soil up to eight blocks long because from this side it will do four and then from this side it will do um another four so all these blocks will be i don't know what the correct word is so if you do know that word moist uh Lubricated? I don't know. It just all sounds perverted in my head because I'm immature. Uh, then you need to plant your seeds, get out some half slabs just to pretty it up. So we'll get out some what I like to. Once again, this is my little design I've been using. So it's really up to you if you want to do everything exactly the same or not. So I like to pretty it up, put a little bit of wood around it, um, put half slabs on the sides so that it covers up the water because when you chain these together, clearly you're going to have to have more water sources. So like that. Now we need to decide what uh, where we're going to be positioning our switch. I, you could also have a pressure plate or something like that, but I like to use a button. Um, I know I keep calling button switch, but whatever. Um, so I like to position mine in the center on this wall here. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, you know what, we'll wing it this one just so you can learn from my mistakes and stuff like that. So we'll build up walls like we've got this in a cave or putting it in our house or something like that, how I've used it the past 50,000 times. Alright, like that. But you could also, yeah, have just have a pressure plate here that you walk across and it should set it off if you can figure out the redstone. Alright, so we'll put our button here. Now behind that button you want to put a redstone torch. And this is basically a ladder system down with redstone. Don't think of this as anything too complicated. I'll actually show you how this works. So we'll have a little tower of redstone uh, things here. Now here we will have a torch. Now this torch can actually touch um, the redstone just here and power it. And then we can have a torch connected to here and do the same thing and it will be able to touch the redstone here and unpower it when they switch positions like um, if we put a switch here like so if we turn this torch off this one will turn on and then that one will turn off so it's basically a vertical way of transporting the redstone and that's what we're gonna do here so you need to go down one block put redstone then put a torch on the side of that then that will drop down one block and you need to put redstone there but now this torch here which is the torch we're trying to get to is close enough just to run the redstone down now on once when you actually get to the torch i like to put a repeater this is so we can have the circuit continuing on so if we wanted to join these together we would just put a repeater here and redstone there 
or actually I believe it goes this way um, yeah like that and you would build the next one here this so this is where that thing would be and they would actually all press together perfectly with only a one space in between but that actually makes it look more neat so you'll see when we push this button the uh, pistons will push up and break all the melons and then you can collect them and I know it's not automated with water and stuff like that but to be honest that takes longer than actually just running and picking them all up so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I know it was simple for some, but hopefully I do help some others out. Um, don't forget to leave a like and a comment for the next tutorial because I have no clue what to make. This is why I'm making things that I enjoy making. So yeah, bye.